another video for the signature control systems. Easy Pro Junior 8300 series water management system. Uh, the other one had a uh, power outlet issue because it just rained. Um, so this one is good except for it's currently off. And so that's because this dial switch dealy is in the off position. So if you were to put switch that to program, then it would say the amount of the time of the runtime, since it says runtime here, the program runtime five minutes, the program start time 4 a.m. on station one is blinking station one. Um, that's a little early, so I'm going to increase the time, not, not the station, but the time. So I'm going to select, and now you see the blinky blinky, and I'm going to go 6 a.m. And station one, uh, from the, you can only set from the programming uh, notch. It probably has a fancy word for that because engineers do these things. 100% is the water budget. You can do more if it's hot or less, but uh, you might as well just change the minutes. And how do you change the minutes? I'm so glad you asked. Uh, this is the time setting plus or minus for the select to get to the minutes um, and then keep going to get to the 12 hour or 24 hour. Uh, so now we did select and now we can do, we can go to AM is when the PM disappears. PM is when you're 12 um, or so. And there you go with the time. Time in on the big dial program on the little dial. date. Today is June 27th, 2023. So we don't need to select through to change those or plus minus to add or subtract. And now the manual cycle, switch to manual on the big dial. It has the M. Why does it have the M? Because we're in program. We can't program manual. We can only go to the auto setting of manual because you can run through the manual cycle. It flashes until it stops flashing and then it goes on. And you can hear it going clicking and going on and you can see the sprayers spraying. And so it's on. And so to turn it off, you can't um, adjust the minutes. Nothing will work here. Oh wow, it does work there. <laughs> the manual said it wouldn't, but the, oh, that's going to station four, which we don't have. And now it turned off, so now I can set the thing. But I was gonna say you just switch the dial to off and it'll shut off there, but you have to turn it back once it, you have to wait for the valve to stop watering and then turn it back to auto. It has to be on auto in order to run the rest of the programs. So that was manual, oh, and it started again. So we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna go to cycle. So you wait for it to turn off and now auto, and now, oh, I won't do cycle cycle it'll run through the coa is flashing and now five minutes you can do us plus or minus now to add more time if you wanted to but it's just going to run the cycle as is it'll run through all the all this all the timing that you have programmed in in program a or b or c uh, it'll cycle through them all so that's what cycle is and cycle needs to be an auto because once you can just like be done and, and walk away and let it run an extra cycle if it's hot out or something um, and then it'll already be an auto so it'll go default back to whatever programs you have set so there you have it for the basic programming of the easy pro junior 8300 series irrigation timer this has been your host damon the global gardener with lots of irrigation information and video tutorials on timer programming. It's been a pleasure and I'll see you in other videos.